What's going on guys? It's the Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to my channel. Uh, I know it's been a couple of days since I've been with you. I've been a little busy. Well, let me turn my Nintendo Switch off. I'm having a little too much fun here. I uh, have been pretty busy getting together some new content for you guys on this YouTube channel. A new segment I like to call Beastly's Chats. Uh, a segment I'm going to do once a week where I get with you guys and talk about you know, whatever topic comes to my mind. Sometimes it will be controversial. Kind of like the uh, whole Confederate flag thing that I just recently uploaded, which I really enjoyed making. As you guys can see, I have a new camera here. I uh, went on eBay and I bought myself the um, Logitech C922. Unfortunately, they scammed me and they sent me the C920. So I've uh, actually went on and uh, started like the little return policy with eBay. I'm, I printed out my shipping ticket today, my return label, but I haven't gotten out to the uh, post office, so I'm probably going to send it back tomorrow. Unless you guys say just keep it. I paid 65 bucks. I think you can get them 65 for the C920 brand new. Uh, and uh, I think the C922 was like 80 or 90 dollars. So I thought I was getting a deal. I actually really like this camera. It looks great uh, compared to what I'm used to. Uh, and so if you guys want me to just keep this one just so I can have better content, you know, sooner rather than wait for another week or so, then I'll do that. I want to talk to you guys about the games I've been playing. Uh, I've been really, really enjoying what's been coming out recently uh, as far as. Destiny 2. Destiny 2 dropped today. I saw the reveal trailer, saw some gameplay footage. Uh, I'm, I really enjoyed Destiny when it first came out. Uh, I know a lot of people know that I don't play it that often because it kind of got repetitive to me. It became a non-issue. I didn't feel like I was getting anything new out of the game. I know a lot of people, including Briar Rabbit, my good friend, my brother from another mother, plays that game like it's the only game on Earth. It was really hard for me to stay into it. Um, and I feel like with Destiny 2, there's a possibility, or at least it looks like, a lot more for you to do. I'm really excited about getting into it. The one thing I will say is that the game does not look, you know, my expectations deceived me. I, I thought the game was going to look a little bit better. It looked really like a, a, vis, a slight visual upgrade over what we have uh, seen, you know, with Destiny 1. What I mean is the game, it looked great. It, don't get me wrong. It looked great. It looked like a PS4, Xbox One quality game. Uh, but, you know, with Destiny 1 being on the 7th generation consoles as well, my expectations were it was just going to be a huge leap. But I didn't, I'm not taking into account that it really pushed the limits on the PS3 and the Xbox 360 uh, to actually have that game cross-platform for the 360 and the 1 and the PS3 and the PS4. But it does look, it looks really good. Um, I hear that it's 30 frames per second on the, on the console versions and it's up to 60 on PC. If that's true, that'll be a pretty disparaging factor, and uh, it might make a lot of people lean toward the PC version of the game. Who knows whether or not the Xbox Scorpio version uh, will be 60, fra 60 frames per second, or the PS4 Pro version can hit 60 frames. If that's the case, then it'll be uh, much better for console owners. Nintendo has done some pretty impressive stuff with their latest Nintendo Direct. They showed a game that I had no desire to play. I, I thought it was just going to be a piece of crap. I, I wasn't excited at all. They showed ARMS. Um, and they showed lots of this game. And I gotta say, I, I'm really impressed. I did not think that ARMS, it looks addictive. It looks like it's a lot of fun. And it looks like it has a pretty decent difficulty curve. It's not like you can just pick it up and become great. It's going to take some skill. Uh, I like the different ways that you can play it. Like you can take off your, your Joy-Con and you can actually use motion controls. I think that's really awesome. And uh, they, they announced, well they didn't announce, but they showed a lot of confirmed uh, Nintendo Switch games. I think this console, believe it or not, I think this console is going to do extremely well. It's selling like hotcakes right now. I'm really looking forward to the future with you guys and with this YouTube channel and uh, my VidMe channel, which is going to be roaring pretty soon. I'm really looking forward to uh, the next episode of Beastly's Chat. It's actually going to uh, heavily involve the election of 2016, the presidential election, and whether or not we were hacked. Of course, I'm sure by now you know that Russia, Russia, Russia did it all. Russia made the Nintendo Switch. Russia is really being heavily interjected right now, and uh, it's mostly by the Democratic Party and the mainstream media. Uh, and I want to talk about whether or not Russia had really any hand in this election. It's very possible that they did. But as we see it right now, there's really no evidence that they did. And if they did do anything, there's really no way to determine just how much they may have affected the election. And so I want to talk to you guys about that on the next episode of Beastly's Chats. I hope you guys 
I'm ready for it, and I hope you're, you're ready to learn something. I'm ready, hopefully, you're ready to teach me something, because I like learning, too. I also want to talk about one PC game that I recently bought that I played a couple of rounds in, and I felt let down because there was nobody there to play it with me, and I didn't really understand the dynamic of the game yet. I bought Player Unknown's Battlegrounds on Steam. And um, I bought this game under the recommendation of my good friend Briar Rabbit. Check out Briar Rabbit's YouTube channel and his Twitch page, uh, who said that this game is the best game since sliced bread. Now I don't know about you, but I really like sandwiches. You can tell. Yeah, I like sandwiches, and sliced bread is something that I think is special. And I played this game. I played two or three matches, and um, I just didn't get it. I, I need someone to be in this world with me, playing with me on TeamSpeak or, you know, talking through Skype so we can work this thing out together. So if you are on PC and you have Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, which is one of the biggest games right now on Twitch, uh, let me know in the comments. Send me a friend request so you can teach me. I need to be taught. You know, every, every game doesn't just come naturally to me. I'm almost 40 years old, man. And when you get this old, you know what they say, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Look at these hands. It's like the rock monster from The NeverEnding Story. And um, it's hard for me to get that mouse and keyboard stuff. Oh my goodness, it's so terrible. I'm right-handed. How am I controlling the game with the left hand? I just don't understand this dynamic. But I'm willing to learn. So if you uh, want to play that game with me, let me know in the comment section below. Maybe you can teach me. Maybe we can go out there and just die together. Who knows? Uh, I'm looking forward to the future of this channel. Hope you guys are looking forward to it, too. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What did you think about Destiny? Did, did Destiny 2 look up to par to you? Did it look exciting to you? Are you excited about the Nintendo Switch? Uh, this thing is, I think, is going to be pretty damn awesome uh, moving forward. I'm really excited about... Uh, the Elder Scrolls 5 Skyrim uh, to me just having that on the go and something so thin and so awesome With so many different ways to play is really incredible uh, And of course, I'm looking forward to getting some playtime in player unknowns battleground So if you're down with that, let me know and definitely be looking forward to the next beastly chat Also, let me know what you think I should do with this camera as I said I ordered a C922 I bought it on eBay. It took about a week for it to get here. When it gets here, I never had a C920 before. I knew it looked a little bit different, so I came in here, plugged it into my computer. Super excited until I see a pop-up saying the Logitech C920 has been installed. I said, hey, they're missing two digits. And so I went through, you know, a lot of rigmarole looking at reviews and images, and I, I saw that they sent me the wrong camera. Contacted them. They said, contact eBay and start this litigation so we can get you your return label and all this stuff. And I said, it's definitely going to affect your feedback review, my friend, because I feel like you maliciously did this to me. I actually think that the camera works really well. I think it's really clear. I think that it's not all the crazy motion blur that I was having before. Uh, so it looks great, and I'm, I could possibly take it as a loss. You guys let me know what you think about the C920. As I said, I paid 65 bucks for it. Uh, and I was supposed to get the C922, so let me know what I should do. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Just a little catch up. If you did, please give a thumbs up and show support for my channel. Join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter, and if you'd really like to show your support, visit my Patreon page where you can pledge and become a patron. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.